Welcome back guys and gals to my channel, Loader Operator here, and today we are back at ATS for some more career trucking, and um, we're going to go ahead and go into the freight market right away here and see what we got. Um, in the last episode we hauled, uh, you know I can't remember what we hauled up here, but uh, anyway we hauled it to Boise, so these are the only three loads we got. We got a... LeBear Crane LTM 1030. And then we got some empty bottles and a Caterpillar 257M. Um, that number there is not correct. <laughs> uh, especially for this kind of a truck. Um, I don't think that's right. It doesn't sound right to me. But uh, anyway, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and haul it. <laughs> Uh, I know we've already been to Winnemucca, but I'm hoping if we get down here, you know, we can get something going to Oregon or something like that. Maybe it doesn't look like there's anything headed that way now. Um, we got a couple of bailers going to El Paso, which is over here. No, Houston. Where? Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. But uh, anyway, we're we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this, uh, this caterpillar haul truck. We'll haul it down to Winnemucca, Nevada, and uh, yeah. I love that sound. <laughs> All right. Oop, I did turn on my windshield wipers. <laughs> okay. Headlights, everything's on, so. We'll go ahead and head over to uh, Butamin. I think it's a Butamin to Butamin Hall. Whoa, turned my head too far. Alright. Oh, crap. And I forgot to do something. So, uh, if you guys pardon me for a second, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to uh, do some uh, steering wheel adjustments here. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time my computer um, restarts, it um, resets my steering wheel configuration. It takes me back to uh, 180 degrees of rotation instead of 900, so. Okay. Turn on my flashers here. We'll take the job. All right. And let's see here. Should be over here in this corner. There's the crane. There's the dump truck. All right. So I think I'll come in like so. Ooh, I'm gonna drive up on that curb. Oh, I didn't. I missed it. Cool. <laughs> All right. Now we'll just back up to this thing and get hooked up. Somewhere about there, I think. Ah, 
not too bad. All right. I need to turn on my flashers because we are definitely over width. And I do believe we're also overweight. Yep, 99,208 pounds, so. Come over here as far as I can get. Alright. We made it out of the gate. Good to go. Oh, yeah, that thing's way wide. <laughs> and that little glitch there, I don't know why that happens. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> it's kind of weird. like it's starting to rain. Turn on our wipers here. Making sure I got enough clearance going around the corners here. Back up. Um, God, I hate to do that whole loop, but maybe I could turn around up here, Butamin. All right. Can't believe I did that. This is a roadwork area. Shoot. This ain't gonna. I ain't gonna be able to turn around here. Nope, there ain't no way I'm gonna be able to turn around here. Well, I guess we'll just make the loop go around. Hopefully next time I don't miss the dang turn. <laughs> All right. This is kind of ridiculous. It's probably going to make me a little bit late, even. But um, it's my own fault, really. <laughs> I didn't think it was right there after the turn, so. I 
thought I had a little ways to go yet, but Okay. Now, don't go all the way up past the freaking road again, and we'll be good. and 30 miles on the truck now. 
so and she just barely broke in. Places, you know, you blink, you miss it. <laughs> I think I actually hit something back there. That's not good. I 
I didn't like how close those guardrails were. <laughs> oh, we got Cone Man. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Man, it's it's really narrow here. I don't like it. It's almost not wide enough for my load there. speed up too quick because that light just switched so um, don't want to have to slow down too much <laughs> all right don't you even try it mr. Kenworth It looks like we're turning right here. Beauty man. All right. Now, actually, I think I might have to back in here. Um, yes. So if I'm not mistaken, I bet the dang... Um, delivery point is actually well let's just pull in there and see what it looks like actually see where it really is oh yeah it's over there against that so I'll have to turn this big old thing around out here and uh, back it into the hole there. <laughs> All right.
There we go. Yeah, better not go any more than that. Actually, if I could, because all the other trailers seem to be short enough. Except I needed to turn way shorter than I did. But maybe I can still get it. Ooh, looking at. All right. I didn't want to have to pull forward. Oops, I killed it. Plenty of things now. I just gotta get it where it needs to be. I don't know if I'm gonna do it this way. I don't think I have enough room to swing. Take them off anyway. I see it through that window. I can see the tire. That doesn't count. <laughs> All right. It's such a tight parking spot here. Be able to pull forward just a 
little bit. Alright. I think I actually got it. Just a bit. There we go. All right. Load delivered. Let's see. $9,039 for the job. Uh, 355 experience points, which isn't bad for considering the, the short trip that we did here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. So if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to uh, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.